Hola, hola everyone! Welcome back to Cristalita's Corner! Today we're going to be reading a book called Look Out Leonard! Cuidado Leonard! And it is bilingual. What does bilingual mean? Two languages. It comes in English and in Spanish. And Leonard, I see him here. Hey! He's got glasses like me! He's got round glasses. He's a shrew and he is very adventurous and sometimes a little too adventurous and likes to sneak away. So before we find out what happens to Leonard, right underneath the video, can you find a little bell? It says subscribe, suscríbete, so that you can see all of my latest videos and you can follow me. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you so much for subscribing. And now, what do we have to do in order to Calm our bodies down. Hmm. You remember? Yes! Take out your hands. Let's sing our listening song. And here we go. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voice is quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at story time. At story time. Give yourself a big, tight squeeze. And now we're ready. My listening ears are on so we can listen to the page and find out what happened to Leonard. Oh, goodness. But this time, friends, I'm going to read it in English. If English is your first language, watch it first in English and then watch part two and you can learn it in Spanish and we can learn all kinds of new words together. So here we go. Look out, Leonard. Cuidado, Le Leonard by Jesse James and Tamara Aregón. Those are the authors. The authors are the ones who wrote the book. Oh, little Leonard, let's find out about his family. This is the Shrew family. There's Mr. Shrew, Mrs. Shrew, Sam and Steve and Sasha and Sydney and Le Leonard, where's he going? Oh, look, hey, the Shrew family is waving at us. Let's say hello. Good day to you. Hello there. Hi. Hola. Howdy. But where did Leonard go? Silly Leonard. I want to see. Oh, wait. There he is. Hi. What's he doing? Let's look at those colorful pages. I see a bird. He's headed somewhere where his family is not Leonard. Today is an exciting day for the Shrew family. It's moving day. They have got a long journey through the forest to their new home. So Mrs. Shrew has asked everybody to hold on to each other's tails so, they, so that they don't get lost. And there they all are. Can you count them? Hey, can you help, help me count them? Okay, here we go. I see numbers. That means that that's where we're going to count, okay? One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. There are seven family members in the Shrew family. And I love that they've got the numbers here so you can recognize which one is which. All here, says Mr. Shrew, and off they go. So there's seven of them. They've got their little suitcases. And I think they're going on an adventure. Ooh. Uh-oh. What's this? Leonard is holding on to the wrong tail. This tail is too thick and furry to be Sydney's. Oh, look out, Leonard. Oh my gosh, what happened? Look, what, what? He fell. Leonard held on to the wrong tail. You know what? I don't even, which, whose tail was that? Who knows what an animal that one is? Do you know? It's a monkey. He held on to the tail of a monkey that is thick and furry and not like Sydney's his sisters. That's a shrew. Now, for this book, friends, I'm going to need your help saying, look out, Leonard. So let's practice, okay? Say, look out, Leonard. You say, yes, thank you. He's, I need help because he's just going off on his own over here. Whew. Phew. That was a close one. And look, there's Leonard's family. He's catching up to them. He's not far behind. Maybe he can reach Sydney's tail. I see Sydney's tail right there. So he's just got to run over there to get on the log so that he can join his family. Oh no, that's not Sydney's tail. That tail belongs to a... A crocodile! Oh my God, that's not it. 
So what can we say? Look out, Leonard! Look out, Leonard! Watch out! That's not Sydney's. It's a crocodile. And they've got big teeth. Ooh. Big, big mouths that go like this. Ooh. I don't want to hold on to a crocodile's tail. Yikes! That was a lucky escape. But where is Leonard going now? Look at him. He got off the tail of the crocodile with his round black glasses. He's catching another tail. Oh my gosh. Whose tail is that? Uh-oh. Leonard has grabbed onto the tail of a slithery snake. <gasps> so he doesn't look very friendly. What can we say? Look out, Leonard. Watch out. Don't grab onto that tail of the slithery snake. Oh goodness, Leonard. Oh dear, Leonard had better catch up with the rest of the shrew family fast. What's happening? Look, he's not with the snake anymore. He's climbing up a tree, okay. Oh, there they are. They're greeting their feathery friend, Mr. Parrot, on their way past. Leonard is close behind them, and what a relief. That, he has been escaping and finding out the wrong tales. Oh no, that's not Mr. Parrot's tail. What do you say? Look out, Leonard, look at him. He grabbed onto the wrong tail. Oh no. Oh wait, no, he did grab onto Parrot's tail. What am I thinking? He flew away and grabbed onto the tail. Oh goodness, Leonard. His family's like, ah! <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. And plop, boing. That was a big fall. Phew, what a surprisingly soft landing. Look, where did he land? Where did Mr. Leonard land? He landed on feathers and they're soft, so it was a very soft landing. Lucky Leonard. The rest of the Shrew family aren't far away. If Leonard is quick, he could reach them. He's gotta be fast and stop grabbing onto the wrong tails. He's gonna get lost. Oh, there they are. Leonard is almost there. Come on, Leonard, you can do it. Look, he is on top of a lot or of a branch on a tree and he's looking down trying to find how do I get to my family? I see a ladybug, look, I see a ladybug. I see a frog. Look at that, how's he gonna get up? How's he gonna get down there? You will not believe. You will not believe. Look at this. What's this? <gasps> Leonard's family has met a big, hungry, and scary tiger. What are they going to do? Do you think tigers like to eat shrews? Um, yeah, super snacky for the tigers. They're small. The tiger's smirking. He's like, <laughs> I found myself a little lunch. Oh gosh, what should they do? Let's find out. Uh oh, that branch is very wobbly. <gasps> Leonard is very high up. Look out, Leonard. <gasps> but look, Leonard has knocked off, off one of the coconuts right onto the tiger's head. Hooray, Leonard, yes. So he was able, I can see right here, he was able, even though it was wobbly, he got off, one of the coconuts knocked right down and hit the tiger on its head and he went, ouch! And he was not able to eat his family. Ha ha ha. And wee! But how will Leonard get down from the top of that big, tall tree? Look out, Leonard! And there he goes, sliding down that leaf. He looks like he's having a fun time. And I bet you, mom and dad are like, what in the world? Having a heart attack. But you know, Leonard is having a nice time, it looks like. <laughs> well done, Leonard. That was an exciting adventure. But now little Leonard is back with his family and he never wants to get lost again. <laughs> oh, Leonard. <laughs> And colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado, the end. That was such a fun book. He, even though he was uh, escaping and a little bit too adventurous, he had a good time and they all found each other in the end. And, oh, I forgot to read you 
I discovered a fun fact because sometimes at the back of our books, there's little fun facts about um, the animals in them. So here it says, the Southeast Asian shrew is found in Cambodia, Malaysia, China, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. These tiny little mammals have soft fur, long tails, sharp teeth, and a pointed snout perfect for foraging through leaves and grass in search of insects and seeds. Ooh, that's exciting. They have big appetites and they and need to eat their own body weight in food every day. Because of this, they are active day and night, and shrews have excellent senses of hearing and smell, but poor eyesight, which might explain why Leonard is always getting into jam, see? So even though he can hear really well, and he can smell really well, he can't see quite well, which is why he's got those cute little glasses. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming to Cristalitos Corner again, and I hope you subscribe, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time.